Hello everybody and welcome back to some more bro tier 2. In the last one we managed to get a win as pacifist. This time we're jumping in as, I mean we could jump in as gladiator. We do have some other characters. I kind of want to have a little look what else we've got going on here. We have the saver who gets um, a lot of harvesting and materials. That's kind of an interesting idea. We've also got ghost, which is a lot of ethereal stuff going here. Um, no armor but a ton of dodge. We've got the Engineer, ooh, ooh, I love the idea of Engineer. Structure spawn close to each other, all damage modifiers reduced by 50%. More tree spawn, start with a Lumber Jack share, lots of pickup radius, bigger map size, more enemies, less drops. Ooh, okay, that's kind of an interesting one. 2% attack speed with medical weapons, extra regen and harvesting. Um... All, modif all damage modifiers, you can only clip one weapon at a time. Ooh, that guy sounds like he could be really fun. One armed. Okay, let's jump in with the engineer first, I think. We can start with a hammer level two or one of these. I'm gonna go for a wrench first. Um, and of course, we're, we're going in danger two. And we'll just see how this goes. I, I do have to say, I have been playing a little bit of Brotato in my free time. Um, I haven't played it in about four or five days, actually. Because um, like the last lot of videos that you guys have seen, I actually recorded in a bulk record session over the course of about three days when the game first came out because I was just enjoying it so much. Um, also, my mouse seems to be disappearing. I don't know if you can see that look. It's like every time I stop moving it, it disappears. I don't know what that's about. Um, let's try and reroll and get a few things here. Ooh, I'd love to lock that in. Um, yes, I haven't played it properly in a little while, but I did go through a streak of playing it a lot because I went on holiday and uh, I got Brote on my mobile phone. There is a mobile version that you can get on the Discord. Um, it's in the modding channel. It's not like it is endorsed by the developer. Like while the, while it's not official. Uh, the developer has said that they're completely fine with it. Um, so I've been um, I've been checking that out and I was having a lot of fun with that. Yeah, playing it on the plane and stuff. More engineering here. Definitely grab that. Um, go with the landmines here. And there's another wrench there. We'll lock that in. Probably want to lock in some me melee uh, damage. That sounds good to me. I want to try and get as many mines going as I can as well. Because obviously we can get mines from the screwdrivers, but also you can get the item that spawns mines too. It'd be nice to get a few of each of those, really. Um, I do know that when we level up our wrenches, it changes the type of turret that we get. So we start off with these basic shooties. I think then we go incendiary. Then it's, I think it's laser. And then it's explosive, if I remember the, uh, the pathing on that right. I think that's how it goes. I can't quite remember. Um, I don't know if range damage affects turrets, I'll be honest. I'm going to take melee damage because that's what we're using currently. Um, and I'm going to go for a reroll here and get some more engineering. Definitely going to take that. I'll lock in the range as well. And in fact, let's, uh, let's combine them two as well so we get another higher level turret. But yeah, now you can see we've got two flamethrower turrets and one regular turret. I don't exactly know how the turrets scale elemental damage versus engineering when they're um, when they're flamethrowers. I'm not sure. I'm guessing they do scale off both. So maybe the normal turrets do scale off range damage. I'm not 100% sure on that. My god, that mine did a lot of damage to all of those. Got a lot of the shooty boys here. So okay, we're, we're kind of cleaning house now and getting quite a lot of materials for it as well. Dodge for armor right now. We'll take that. Um, I think I'll take some early harvesting. I think that's a good idea. We'll grab that. We'll grab that. Reroll and grab some more landmines. I'll do another reroll. We can lock that in. Honestly, fire spreading for one HP is kind of an interesting idea because we, if we keep at least one flame turret, I don't know really if there's a good advantage to keeping the lower level turrets because you want maybe a variety. Oh, I didn't realize that I could trigger the mines by stepping on them. That's not a great thing. <laughs> I need to be careful and accidentally set them off. I didn't realize that I could set them off. But yeah, maybe keeping a variety of turrets is a good idea, but of course that will limit the amount of damage output because not only is it going to change the type of turret is going to increase their damage, so I don't know if that's the best idea. There might be a, 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 a way of doing it. If any of you guys can give me some tips on that, that'd be, that'd be decent, because I, I really don't know if there's a sort of best way to go about that. 
Okay, nice. We're getting good materials each way of the... Gonna take some more harvesting here. Um, and I think this is a very good assortment of stuff. I think we definitely take this first, then this. Oh, we don't have space for it. Let me combine. Then we take this. Then we take this. And I'm gonna lock that in. Melee damage plus experience seems real good to me. Um, and we got... We've got uh, two blue screwdrivers and three flamethrowers now, so I think we're pretty good. And remember as well, as Engineer, everything kind of groups up a little bit more neatly for us as well, which I honestly think is something that I wish they did by default, but um, it, it's nice that this character gets that advantage. I think that's going to be kind of useful and pretty cool to uh, have like a home base, so to say. I don't really know what to call it. We need to be a little, a little bit careful of our health here. We are losing health pretty rapidly. But yeah, we kind of have one central area that we want to be kind of congregating around, which normally as a character you don't often do on purpose at least. Sometimes it happens a little bit by accident, but it's not usually something you aim for. Beautiful. Our health looks a bit, a bit fishy there, so I'm a little worried about that. Um, maybe we'll take some lifesteal here. And I'm going to take the plus 45 range. I'm going to take that, and that, and that. Getting really good weaponry here. We've got to lock that back in again. Reroll and lock that in. Lock that in as well. We're really getting a nice little home base going here. I like this. I can never remember what these, these runny dudes do. Enemies that don't particularly, like, move towards us, I think are going to be ones that we find problematic. I'll, I'll be honest. Maybe it's a bit of a tactic to walk into the mine. Maybe that's why you're able to, to detonate them yourself. Because they've got quite the radius to them. So if you, if you feel like you're getting a little bit claustrophobic, you can just walk into a mine on purpose to hit the nearby enemies. Even if they don't walk directly over it. So I, I'm guessing that's why they're set up like that. Either that or it's an oversight. But I, 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 feel, I have a feeling it's not. I have a feeling it is made like that on purpose. To give you a way to utilize them without enemies having to step on them. Also, maybe a, as, a, as a way to purposely relocate them, if you feel like they're not in a great spot. 9% um, speed might be pretty good. Dodge, we've already got 8, so let's take more dodge. We'll go with... Um, combine them two. Grab that. Definitely grab that. Um, we'll, we'll lock that in, definitely. And we'll carry on our merry way here. Weaponry-wise, I think we're in a really good spot. I would definitely like to get some more engineering on the table. I feel like we've had a good amount so far. We're up to 31, but I'd, I'd very much like to be up to about 100 by the time we get to the, the, the final wave. Maybe even a little higher than that if we can manage it. So there is definitely some good engineering pickups we can find out there. And remember, we're getting a 50% bonus, so they're worth even more. But at the minute, we're not really finding that many of them. We have one of them locked in for next round, but it's it's not a super lucrative one, I'll be honest. It's only a few engineering. It's not, like, ten. They're the sort of ones that we need, the ones that give you, like, ten. But, as you can clearly see, if we stay near our turrets, they're doing a mighty amount of damage. And we've got some laser ones in there, too, which have a bit of piercing associated with them. Which is, I think they're my favourite turret. I think the next one after this is explosive. Um, this is good. I think we want to go with lifesteal here. And then... I think we want to go with attack speed here. We do have a screwdriver here. Not, not one that we can use, though. We take this. We'll lock this in. I am going to take that. It's a little risky. I'm going to lock that in as well, because we lose a lot of speed. We are at minus 10 speed now. But, my thought process is we have a home base. We don't need speed as much as we would otherwise. So, being a bit more tanky in one position, I feel, is going to be a little better for us. Now, I do have to make ventures out sometimes, away from home, to grab materials, destroy trees, all that good jazz. But I'm, I'm going to try not to focus on that too much. But yeah, I'm liking this. I am liking this. The laser turrets are doing great. I don't know if attack speed affects them at all. I don't think it does. It'd be nice if that was an item that uh, made it made your other stats affect turrets a little more. But I don't think many of them affect your turrets. 
We do have a good bit of life steal here. I'd say a good bit. We have four. Four percent life steal isn't exactly great, but it is going to keep us afloat for now in the early in the early days. A little bit later down the line, it might be something that we want to try and focus a little more on there. But we're getting really good material gains here. Um, I'm going to recycle that. I honestly don't think we need that. Plus six melee damage, I think, is a must right now. The dodge is pretty tempting too. Plus four engineering is great. Um, let's combine these two. Take them. Combine them to take that. Grab another duct tape there. There's just a turret we can grab. I like that. I like that too. Six armor while standing still. I'd like the free shop reroll. The rest of that doesn't really bother me. Yeah, I'm not sure why my cursor keeps disappearing. But we, we do have an explosive turret now. Um, which is doing 85 damage a pop. I don't really know what sort of fire rate we have on that thing. It's probably not super high. I don't know if we're going to want all of our turrets to reach explosive. But we also have a good few um, a good few screwdrivers in there which are making landmines. I, I almost want to say I like the landmines more. They're a bit more sporadic and obviously can't aim at the enemies. But I just, I love the idea of it. And they, they get built pretty quick when you have a lot of screwdrivers. And screwdrivers of, of higher level too. I see you over there. We are going to chase you. Unfortunately, you just dropped fruit. Normally, them guys drop a, um, a, what's it called? A crate, but that one didn't. I didn't actually, I didn't actually realise that was plausible. I thought they always dropped a crate. Yeah, this is a lot of fun. Explosive uh, radius or damage would be an item that would be really good to get. I know they exist, so it would be good to see them. Still getting good money each wave, I think. More range is good for melee. That's really good for range and getting that speed back. Um, and we got another one. I'll, I'm, I'm going to I'm gonna lock these two in and there's that explosive damage. I'm going to lock all three of those in. So we got some range, but we also got our um, thingy back. I, I, again, I have no idea if the range that we just got affects the turrets, like, at all. Um, I'm hoping it does, but even still, we're using melee, so although range is only half as effective on melee weapons, I still think it's very good to have a lot. In fact, you want more, so having 100 range is effective as having 50. So, pretty good to have a good amount of it. Just to mean that you can swing it a bit of a distance. Especially when, although melee isn't our biggest, like, priority in terms of hitting enemies, we're really running into our turrets. We are doing a good bit of damage and a good bit of, um, keeping the enemies away using turrets, so. Using our melee, sorry, so. Still valuable to have it. Gotta be careful for these big lads, because they do quite a hefty bit of damage. We're healing up a decent amount fairly quickly here. Didn't get as many materials this time round. Uh, I'm going to take dodge again here. Definitely take the wings again. I think we recycle that, grab that, and then these two go on the back burner right now. Okay, good, good. Just getting under the flame turret in there I think is valuable. Didn't have any prior. Just a nice bit of more AoE style damage. Things get closed and they all get a little bit burned. I like that. We've now got 28% dodge, which isn't anywhere near as good as armor, um, in my opinion. Just because it's a lot less reliable. But it's still very, very nice to have. If we can... We haven't... Uh, we've got four armor right now. If we can build up our armor a little bit later on, that equates to 21% damage reduction. That's decent. I, I normally like to get up to about... 35, 40% if I can, but that takes a good amount of armor to get there. So far, so good, though. I like our setup. Got this little encampment that we can kind of utilize. Definitely need a little bit more lifesteal in the mix. That would be useful. Try and run through everything right now. Oh, God, I almost died there. 4 HP left. There's some engineering. Lovely. Um, Definitely take the crit. Take that. Take that. Might lock in the harvesting there. And then we can lock that in as well. Good, good. 
We're up to plus nine speed now. Those two angel wings helped out a lot. Also, what's that crit chance? Crit chance is 21%. That's pretty good. I don't know if our turrets can crit either. And I don't know if, even if they can, I don't know if it inherits off of our, our crit chance or not. But still. Nice. Still looking for more engineering. We are up to 45, but that's still quite a ways away from 100. I'm really hoping we get there a little bit before wave 20, which is looking less and less likely. Did manage to grab a box here. Ooh, I did not like that situation. I put myself in there. I just like the fact that you can kind of walk away from your home base for a while and then just come back to, like, an absolute slew of materials just lingering everywhere. It's very nice. And you can do like a fresh sort of walk through them to pick them all up. Very satisfying. You need to be really careful. I'm letting my health get way too low on occasion here. Not good materials that time either. Um, yes. 12% dodge, I'll take. Uh, I dodge is up to 54 now. That's huge for us. Grab that. Grab that. Duh, 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 duh. We roll again. Not really getting what we want here. More angel wings, I'll lock that in. Another one of those, I'll lock that in. A little bit scared of my maximum HP right now, but that crazy amount of dodge that we just picked up is going to help, I think. I think right now, our main bit of suffering is our damage just isn't quite up to speed with where it should be right now. I feel like we're... We're in need of a lot more damage, which might just mean we need to switch over to more wrenches. Well, I died anyways, so there you go. Um, we might need to do a more wrench-heavy run, so let's let's give that another go. And this time we started with two wrenches. Did we start with two wrenches last time? I think we did. Maybe we just need to be more heavy on the wrenches. And try and re-roll for more engineering upgrades. Maybe I need to, to, to focus more defensively when I go for my level up upgrades as well. And try and get engineering in my items. But I mean, here it's the only option, so why not? With that, and then I'll combine two of them. Then combine both of them. Engineering there, lock that in. I thought, why not have the exact same weaponry that do more melee damage and shoot fire? I... I may be tempted to leave them all at level 2 and go with a full-on elemental build, which I think could be interesting. If I get, like, the spread fire effect and a bunch of other stuff along with it, that could be quite the interesting little run. I'm, I'm not really sure if that would work too well, but I've got a hunch it could be kind of fun. Um, right, so here we go with lifesteal. Grab that. I'm not going to go with screwdrivers this time. I'm going to try and stick with the wrenches. I'll, t I'll take that as well, because that's got engineering in it. Got a little bit of hair on top of our head now as well. <laughs> yeah, I just have a feeling the... Um, getting a bit of fire damage and fire spread on those could be, could be a lot of fun. They already do a good amount of damage to these weaker enemies. It's the big enemies I'm a, uh, I'd be a little worried about. But as long as you get your em elemental damage up enough, I feel like it could be pretty good. Could be pretty interesting. One second. Da, 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 da. One sec. Okay, let's keep her going. I'm liking playing as this character though. I'm gonna keep her going as this dude. More life steal here. I'm just gonna take that flat damage. That's very good. There's an incendiary turret, which kind of fits my agenda right now. I'm gonna lock that in. I'm gonna take this first. Yeah. And I'll lock that in as well. I think the chance to get double materials is just too good an offer to pass up early. And it gives us some engineering as well. But definitely fitting the theme of my incendiary idea. The fact that we're uh, getting another incendiary turret is just a, something to drop down on the battlefield with us. One that doesn't come from a wrench. I like that. Still doing a lot of damage with our wrenches though. That's nice. I was expecting to be a little bit behind the times, but honestly, they do a decent job. Got that item just in time from that. Engineering, there you go. Um, plus four melee damage, I think I'll take that. So we want to take this now. Take that as well. 
think we'll lock that in and re-roll. Lock, lock. Lock. Buy that. Okay. We haven't seen any um, any uh, items that are increasing our elemental damage yet, so so far the idea isn't coming together as I'd hoped. We're not really getting any big engineering upgrades either. We're at 28. Pretty respectable for wave 5. But nothing crazy. A bit of food there. Gotta love that. Just keep getting as many materials as we can here. Let our little quad of turrets there do pretty much all the hard lifting. We stay generally out of the way. Do what we can. Take a free reroll early. Super good. Take that. I think we definitely want that. Definitely want that. We combined. Definitely want that. Wrench level three. Okay, I think we lock that in. We lock that in. We lock that in. Actually, we can just take that now. While that isn't, um, that isn't going to be super good, it does have piercing. Like, it's not a level 2 one, so it's, but obviously it's still good. It's still useful. Let's, let's just sit here. Let's see how, how long we can just sit here for. Like, obviously I'm going to move out the way of some of these directly in front of me, like these charges, but can we just, like, not really focus on attacking and just kind of chill out for a little hot minute? See what happens. I feel like we could do pretty well just using our turrets to actually defend us, like a little castle. We don't really need to worry about smick-smacking everything. We're going to miss out on some trees for sure. They'll be about somewhere that I'm not seeing. But otherwise, this is working pretty well. I've never had one of those builds where you just pick up all the get this bonus if you're not moving items. That'd be really good to do a build just on those. Uh, set the max HP. Take the life steal. Um, we we'll grab that. We'll grab that. We'll lock that in and re-roll. Lock that in as well. Lock that in as well. Trying to get those elemental damage upgrades. Again, I don't really know if it actually works. I might be pouring effort into something that is useless. But I'm thinking, if not the actual initial hit, the burn damage should give us the bonus at least, right? I don't see why it wouldn't. I really don't. Would be a bit strange. But material wise, things are going real well. Got another tree over here. Ooh, and two boxes in one stage. That's always lovely. Especially considering I've got the six look. Lovely. The level up as well just before the stage ends. Uh, I'd, li I'd like to keep my life steal, thank you, and I'd like to keep my armor as well. Life steal will take. Look, I'll take actually. Let's go with that, that, that. Reroll. Now that is something that I'm very intrigued by. The armor definitely scares me, but I'm also quite interested by it. Okay, let's lock those two in. So we still have... We still need to get at least one more um, of our... Uh, two more of our wrenches up to being flamethrowers. We'll try our best to do that, if we can. You just get over here and get flamed, my dude. E in the box. They've been providing recently, so I'm very happy to see more of them. Sometimes they're a bit dookie, but sometimes you get some really great stuff out of them. Really need to focus a lot less on melee damage. I've not specced into it at all this time around, so it's just not really doing much. My flamethrowers are really the big hitters here. Got another box over there as well. Lovely. Pick up all these materials quickly now. Another tree that I missed. God damn it. Yeah, I'll take that. Piggy bank this early is pretty darn good. Um, more melee damage here. I will take that. I will take that. And I will take that. 
We got a Tyler. I'll definitely take a Tyler. And I'll lock that in as well. I'll lock that in as well. Okay, we've got a lot of minuses on the board right now. My god. Right, one sec. Okay, we're good to go. This is this is a lot of good stuff right here. Um, I do have a free reroll, so we'll reroll the other item, at least. Explosive damage could be good. I'll lock that in. Not super good right now. But explosive size, sorry, is what I meant to say. But yeah, no, no um, mines this time. So the explosive damage and size doesn't mean as much. But still, it could be useful. I think the elemental damage is helping. It seems to be that I'm gaining it and I'm killing stuff fast. So I can't complain. But it might just be placebo. might just be placebo. I'm definitely noticing I'm moving quite slow. I'm at minus 4% movement speed. That's a little bit problematic, a little bit troublesome. No, don't touch me there. That is my no-no square. So many trees. Tree engineer. But that's probably a thing in the real world, right? Probably such thing as a tree engineer. I don't know what to do, but it sounds real. Okay. Good. Not good. Movement speed, please. Melee damage, yes. Okay. Take Tyler first. Then we'll take this wrench. Then we'll take this wrench. Then I guess we'll take that as well, because we can afford it. Then we go boom and boom. I think we go like that with the lifesteal as well, actually. Lock all those in. Tyler gets grouped up as well. Nice. Getting a little Alexa in there. Love it. We've got so many turrets on the go as well here. It's lovely. Good to see. I'll definitely upgrade to a, a explosive turret next with this purple one that I'm going to grab. But then I'm going to keep on my flamethrower ones. I'm liking them. Although the damage is slightly lower, just the, that AoE effect has been able to burn the enemies, so you get a bit of extra damage on them over time. Also, our melee is doing good now that we're taking quite a lot of melee damage. Definitely a little worried about the fact that we're at minus three armor and minus two dodge, so lifesteal is really the only thing keeping me afloat right now. Um, I, I can pretty easily get one shot by quite a number of different various lads. So, i got to keep that in check. Probably got to balance that out at some point soon. But 25% damage from minus 3 armor is just too good an offer to not take. Another incendiary turret there. Fantastic. Um, we'll definitely take that. Definitely take that. We'll lock that up. And we'll buy that as well, actually. And we'll reroll here. Take that. Let's go. It's a fun run. Very fun run indeed. Definitely better than the last one, I think. Surprisingly. I didn't think this one, like, item-wise was too focused, but I seem to be uh, getting on pretty okay with the flamethrowers and that. Seems to be a pretty decent tactic, actually. Like, obviously, we need them to get into the radius, but once they're in that radius, they die fast. Like, I can pretty much stand absent and everything will die. I, I'm, I'm not doing that because these big dudes can pretty much one-shot me, I think. 13 damage from that there. I'm hoping my lifesteal keeps me going because right now I'm very low HP. It's these random bullets that are flying out of nowhere that can just end my run in a, at a moment's notice that are scaring me. More lifesteal, please. Go with that for an explosive. Take that. There's a screwdriver. That's pretty awesome. We'll lock that in. We now have an explosive turret, which is good. Probably should leave the fruit when I need it, rather than just picking it up all willy-nilly. At least it doesn't get stuck towards you now. I think this run can go a little bit further than the last. I think we got to around 14 in the last one. I think we can get a little further than that this time around, can't we? 
just got to build my defense back up at least a little bit. Or my max HP, either one of the two. I mean, I suppose max HP kind of comes under the umbrella of defense, right? It's defending you against death by having higher HP. But, <laughs> I guess. More so armor that I need, though. Just to take a bit less damage. Because at the minute, I'm literally taking more. Minus armor does actually do something. It makes you take more damage. Good, we got a ton of materials there. I don't want to lose any more harvesting, but that's just too good to not take. 10 engineering is fantastic. Piercing projectiles, I don't think that does much for us, I'll be honest. I don't think piercing projectiles does much for us. I'll lock that in. My range is pretty bad, but it's okay. Shroom. I think I'll take a shroom. Good, good. We do have two explosives coming in now, with that plus 25% explosive radius, so that's good. We have... Lifesteal at 17 is very high for lifesteal. So, as long as we don't get, like, two tapped really quickly, we are going to be able to heal to full pretty quick. Although, I'm not actually sure if my engineering triggers my lifesteal. That might be something I'm doing wrong here. So I don't see my health going up from my engineering, uh, from my turret, sorry. Oh, actually, no. It's, it seems maybe it is. Maybe I was wrong. Two crates back to back there. What luck are we on? Oh, 21 luck. That's decent. It's not a great luck, but that's pretty good. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, God. That was a big hit. Oh, that was a bigger hit. Just try and get in and get the fruits. And stay out of the big guy's way. That's very low HP to cap at, but I'm going to take that. Okay. Lock that in. Lock that in. I'm pretty sure we can't go... We can't lower our HP, though, now. It's stuck at 44. We can't take any... Any minuses H to HPs we get don't do anything. But that plus 8 to everything there was just too alluring. Like, 44 isn't great for my HP, I'll be honest. Especially late game when things are doing, like, 25 damage a pop. Maybe more. Uh, but... Just... The idea of getting that insane amount of bonus elemental damage plus melee damage. Really nice to me. Mainly the elemental damage is what I'm looking for. Because we've got a we've got a good bit, but we're only at nine. So eight is quite a lot in the grand scheme of things. Ooh. We're one bad hit away from death right now. Thank you. That was close. Okay, armor. Definitely take armor. Free reroll. Life steal. Range. Take that. Max HP. There's a minigun there. I am to, I'm going to lock a minigun in, because we, we do have decent... Well, like, we don't have bad range damage, and to be honest, it might be good for the lifesteal. To lose one of the explosive ones for a minigun, is what I'm thinking. If we can survive that this wave, that is. That, that last wave was uh, janky. We didn't do too hot. Got a crate there, nice. Oh, we've got some of these turret dudes here. They're not too bad, to be honest, because like, the ones that spawn close enough to our turrets are going to die pretty much instantly. And the ones that have spawned further away are only going to be a problem if we go seeking out their uh, their attention. So I shouldn't think it should matter too much. Definitely these guys that run around and shoot are uh, problematic. Yeah, I think the minigun is definitely going to be a good idea. Definitely breaks away from our, from our like, build idea. But I think it's worth. Do 
Should be enough to get the minigun. We have such bad range. I will take that to bump up our range a little bit. Yeah, I think we want to be uh, recycling one of those, buying a minigun. More lifesteal here. Our harvesting is uh, very sad right now. But I just think that's funny. 141, 141, 141. Why is everything the same cost? Yeah, just, I think for lifesteal, the minigun's going to be really good. Like, the damage, as you can see, is like one for every shot, which isn't a lot. But that should still trigger lifesteal quite rapidly. Yeah, it does. Good. And I think that's going to be a saving grace for us. Especially while we're still at only one armor. It also gives us a little bit of a, a way to deal damage to enemies before they get within melee range too. Which isn't really the biggest of deals. That's not something I was truly focusing on. But it's an added benefit nonetheless. So, not bad. Boom, 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 boom. I love the noise it makes when you're healing rapidly like this. It just sounds like someone, like, filling a bottle constantly. Didn't get a lot of materials that time around. Attack speed, yes. Plus two health regen for every... Oh, we don't really need health regen, to be honest. that in. Be on our way. And just sit over here. But yeah, like I said, I don't know if this is the best tactic to be going with, like, all elemental damage. It seems fun. A bit different. I don't like these guys that are buffing these enemies over here. Don't appreciate that. These waves are the ones that are starting to get real wild, though. Like, things are piling up like crazy. Especially these, like, orb dudes with the bandages around them. What? Is it bandages or is it claws? Whatever it is around their faces. It looks like bandages to me, but I think it's meant to be claws. Um, these guys are really hounding me because they have so much HP. Especially if you get one of those buffed ones. Them ones really do a number on me. I'm trying to get as many materials as I can without risking my life too much. I got an okay amount there, not great. I mean, I'm losing 24 every wave, which isn't particularly great. The most lifesteal I think I've ever had. That's really nice. Definitely take that. We'll lock that in as well. Don't know if we'll make it through this wave to get to them. So we've got these little helmet motherfuckers now. Which seem to be newer versions of the old guy, which I've never realised before, unless that's completely new. I always thought they were the same enemies that came back, but they seem to be like an advanced version of the older enemy. Gotta kill the little brain-looking things and buff everything. They don't appear too often, but they can really blend into a crowd very easily. I think this was a really good decision to take the minigun. We lost a bit of damage in the process, I think, but... And obviously air turret as well. But my, my. The ability to get our health back and sustain has just become so much easier. I think we would have died by now had we not taken this. Now, I am being very, very worrying about... One thing I want to do, by the way. I think it's weapon highlight. Yeah, it is. Weapon highlight highlights what, like, level every weapon you're holding is. I really like that. I want to have that on. I've seen that on a few videos. Speed-wise... I think we can afford it. More armor there as well. Oh, wait. I was going to buy Alien Baby, but that won't raise my max HP at all, because it's at 63 out of 44. There's probably a few different various uh, bits of... bits of max HP that I've bought here and there that would be, were meaningless, wasn't there? that alloy there. Keep that in the mix. So yeah, I was going to buy Alien Baby then, but that just, I'd literally gain the downside and that's it. 
I'm not sure if the uh, 63 out of 44 is from level ups or from me buying things like a dum dum. Because I immediately forgot that we can't actually gain any more max HP. Easy to forget. Okay. How rapidly are things dying? The big boys, they seem to be dying pretty quick if you enter our sphere of influence, I'm going to call it. Our sphere of death over here in the middle. They seem to go down pretty quick. It's not, it's not instant, but they're getting taken care of reasonably fast. Beautiful. I think we do have a piggy bank on this run as well somewhere, which means that we should really be trying to save at the end of each round to accumulate. I realise that's a good tactic, but personally, I think if you don't, um, as long as um, you get it past like wave like five or six, it's not really worth doing that. You're just going to hinder yourself. Um, definitely that. I really should use both my free rerolls. There's literally no reason not to. Oh, shit. This is wave 20. Oh, my God. I did not realize that. I'm not very happy about this because my speed is pretty bad. And also, I'm going to have to kite this guy specifically around my turrets, which I don't think is very conducive to success with this boy in particular. I, I have a feeling I'm not going to win here. Just because of the mass amount of shots that he puts. Although I will say, additional speed is not bad for this guy. Uh, sorry, lowered speed is not bad for this guy because you can a bit more methodically and precisely dodge rather than being a speed demon and accidentally running into the shots, which is what I do most of the time. I'm going to say we might end up not killing this guy. We might end up um, dying. There you go. Unfortunate, but that was a fun run nonetheless. I hope you guys did enjoy that one, and I'll see you guys in the next one.